In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to format and add and delete text inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. So uh, if you followed from the first one, we created our first document and uh, now we have uh, a new slide that we need to be able to add text to and really make it look how we want. Uh, if you use templates, templates will do a lot of this work for you. So we're going to spend a lot more time on that later on in the course uh, because it's a very quick and easy way to get a great looking PowerPoint uh, without having to do all the manual work yourself. So, uh, but it is good to know. So uh, opening up the document we have, if you remember from last time, we created that as a title page. It's boring and ugly, but uh, it's just a way of doing it before we add out any actual styling. So now on this, new, uh, on this new slide, you can see that the format has changed. It now has moved the title up to the top. If for any reason you want to change that, and so say that you want to have the title on the right hand side, uh, we could create a title just by typing it in, and we could move that all the way here, and then edit the content box here on the right hand side. So just it's very standard, uh, you know, just click and drag the text box and put it anywhere you want. Uh, one thing you will uh, also want to, you know, be aware of is you're uh, lining everything up correctly. So you see that right here we have, uh, if we go all the way up the top, that's about at a half inch margin. It's fine, except that you're you have more than um, space than you have here at the bottom. So just be careful when you're playing around with that, that you have everything lining up and it's as symmetrical as possible. So uh, now to add text to a regular text box, you just come right here by default, it has uh, bullet points and you can start typing. So you can say my first bullet, hit enter, it'll create your second bullet automatically. Second bullet and my third bullet. Okay, so uh, here you have text, very boring, uh, nothing new here. Uh, if you want to start adding some things to this, there's a few ways you can do it. So you can double click on one of the words or you can highlight all of one and you can see automatically you have some uh, different formatting options you could do. So you could change the font color to red, you could make it bold, you can change the font to a completely different font, you can change the size, and you can do a lot of other things that really um, it will give you the custom look and feel that you're wanting. Uh, you can also do things like making it centered. Uh, now one other thing to know, you see that when I click that the toolbar went away. You don't have to worry about it, just come up to the top ribbon and you have access to all those tools and much more. You can do things like underlining, adding a slight shadow, uh, you can also extend or uh, tighten up the kerning on the words. So you can click on uh, you know, normal is the way it would typically be, loose to spread it out a little bit more. Very loose spreads it even more. And you can go into even custom options here. So you can do kerning for fonts, uh, 12 for normal, um, but you can do anything you want on there um, to give it a custom look and feel if you're wanting that. Um, now another neat thing you can do, say that you created a format that you really liked and you want to be able to apply it to others, but you don't want to come here and highlight it and say, okay, this was red, this was size whatever, this was this kind of font. Uh, there's a lot of different things that we just did here that you don't want to have to do over and over again. So the way you can do that is by using this format painter and you can use it here or come up top to the top left hand side and you have your format painter icon here. So to use this you can click it once or you can click it twice if you want to use it for multiple instances. We're just going to use it once so I'm click that you can see it gets highlighted and now I can come and select other items and it automatically applies every one of those formatting uh, different um, preferences straight to that font. 
it's a really nice and easy way to apply this. Now, another thing I'm going to show you with Format Painter that's pretty neat is uh, the ability to use it on quite a few different items. So we'll come here, duplicate this slide, duplicate the slide, and duplicate the slide. So. Uh, Say that we had a slide, you can pretend all the content's different, and, but say you picked out or your boss told you, okay, we want the title to look like this. And then, shockingly, a few weeks later, they decide, never mind, we hate that, we want to change it to something else. And so they tell you how you want it changed, and they want to change the font, so they'll change it to something like this, they'll change, they want the color changed, want it to be italic, uh, centered, and shadowed. Regardless if it looks good, this is what they asked for, so you have to do it. Now, if we were to want to, if we had to go to every one of these slides, especially if it was a larger full presentation, like say you had 30, 40 slides, that would take forever to go do that. With the Format Painter, you don't have to do that. So we're gonna double click this to select it all. And now we can't just click this once because if we just clicked it once, then we would only be able to use it one time. So we're gonna double click it. And now we're gonna come over here and just gonna double click on that title, come to the next one, double click on the title, come to the fourth slide or fifth slide, double click on it and see you instantly have that exact same style and you don't have to just use it in the same spot you could do it on specific words as long as you double clicked on that you can go to any font type that you have in your entire document and just keep reusing that however you want to remove it just come back up top to the left hand side click on it once and now you're back to having a regular cursor so uh, there are just some really nice, easy ways that you can add uh, formatting um, across the document um, very quickly.